Hi everyone, welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. We have on Zoom with us today, Daisha Hicks. She is a State Health Insurance Assistance Program Manager with Low Country Council of Governments. Hi Daisha, are you having a great summer? I am. Good morning, everybody. Just trying to stay cool like the rest of us in the whole country. <laughs> right, right. So today we're talking about a special enrollment period for Medicare, which most people think the open enrollment is in October, but mm -hmm. there is a special period that is going on, I guess, right now. Do you want to tell us about it? Well, the special enrollment period is pretty much so there's so many different options you have if you don't enroll in Medicare in a timely fashion. It's special because, for instance, the one I want to kind of pinpoint right now is that if you're over 65 and you still have active employee benefits, meaning you're still working and you still have benefits through your employer or your spouse has benefits through your employer, once it's time to retire, you're in what's called a special enrollment period. So that means you have time to enroll in Medicare without being penalized, even though you're over 65. Okay, so it's not according to a particular month, right? It's whether you're employed no. or not. Okay. Right. Okay, very good. So what are the steps? So how do you go about enrolling in Medicare? And, and kind of walk through it th slowly for us because it is so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're still working, and a, an, another good thing to note that your employer has to have over 20 employees for you to be qualified for the special enrollment period. Um, so we're just going to use, for example, Miss Sue. So Miss Sue is still working. She did not enroll in Medicare at 65, so now she's 67. She wants to retire in December. So if Ms. Sue contacts me, I would tell her she needs to start this process in either October or November. The first steps is to go through Social Security. Social Security starts all things Medicare. Mm -hmm. So you can either enroll online, you can do it at the office, you can get these documents and fax them in because you will have to fill out an application for your Part B as well as you're going to have to give your employer a form to, for them to prove that you had active employee benefits. And then you issue that to Social Security. Once they process it, your Medicare will start that following month. And so in your special enrollment period, you have eight months to enroll in Part B, which is your doctor's business and your outpatient coverage without penalty. But a lot of people don't know that you only have two months to enroll into a Part D drug plan. So you want to start that process. As soon as you know your date, you want to start a couple of months before so you can kind of pinpoint your options and what you want to do and get that ball rolling. And so going online, is it fairly easy to navigate? You know, because there are some folks that are navigationally you know, challenged online <laughs> and so it could could you or one of your team walk folks through that if they get confused if they get confused we can definitely help them a lot of people usually choose to just go into the social security office whatever local office that is or simply i think they can upload their documents online or they can actually just fax it in so it's just whatever their comfort level is, but we'll try to help them as best we can. Okay, now you were saying that there is a penalty if you do not sign up for Medicare, right? Which I did not realize. Right, so if you miss your initial enrollment period, but you do qualify for a special enrollment period, you will not be penalized if you still get it in a timely manner. If you have missed those dates, the penalty for Part B is 10% for every 12 months you have not had Medicare. So that's 10% times the Part B premium um, that's added to your Part B premium. And this is a lifetime penalty. Mm -hmm. If you don't get Part D in a timely fashion, it's 1% for every month you are not enrolled in Part D times the national average of the premium costs. And again, these are lifetime penalties. Right. So again, by calling your office, you can help explain that to folks because I don't think people really understand all the consequences. Right, Daisha? Right. 
Okay. Because the only way you can get out of the penalty is if you qualify for like any additional state benefits, like extra help. If you qualify for extra help, which is the help you get with paying your premiums, drug costs, drug co-pays and co-insurances, that wipes away because that's through Social Security and they pay for your premiums and deductibles. So they're not going to pay their own penalties. And with the state for Part B, if you qualify for the Medicare Savings Program where the state pays that Part B premium, then that cancels out your penalty as well. Okay, very good. Always excellent information from Daisha Hicks, who is with the Low Country Council of Governments. Thank you, Daisha, for joining us today. You're welcome.